This video is the seventh in a series which provides guidance on how to install hardy fine texture cladding. In this video, we'll cover the correct nailing options and techniques. Brad nails are recommended, as their small head enables them to blend into the texture once the paint is applied to the panel. For direct fixed to timber framing, 14 gauge by 50 mm long ND304 stainless steel brad nails are recommended. For high wind areas, N4 or C2, use 2.8 by 40 mm class 3 or higher nail with 6 mm diameter head. Or use a 2.8 by 30 mm corrosion resistant fibre cement nail. Ensure the panel edges are in the centre of the stud and that you have enough room to comfortably nail the heads. Nails need to be fixed no less than 18 mm from the sheet edge. It's critical the sheets are centred on the studs where possible. If sheets have crept more than halfway over the centre of the stud, or to help prevent this issue, you can double stud as a precaution. For cavity fixed to timber on fibre cement cavity battens, apply hardy joint sealant over the battens to increase the fastening strength, particularly for 19 mm hardy cavity trims. Wear short 25mm DA or C 16 gauge 304 stainless steel brad nails will be used. Ensure you're using the correct size assembly on your bradding gun. For cavity fixed to timber battens, use 14 gauge by 50mm long ND 304 stainless steel brad nails as per the direct fix method. Nails should be finished flush. Any overdriven by 1mm or less are acceptable. Note that repeatedly overdriving nails will compromise the holding strength. Underdriven nails can be hammered by hand until flush. Take care not to damage the panel. For overdriven nails, fill the hole with a product such as Selly's No More Gaps. Try to retain the texture by pressing a small amount of filler into the hole and wiping over with your finger. Remove excess filler and have a rag and soapy water on hand to clean up joint sealant or filler before it hardens. For more information, refer to the Hardy Fine Texture Cladding Installation Guide, which is available on the James Hardy website. In Part 8, we'll look at painting. 